Arjun, uh, how do you think the Chinta played a part in your journey? For me, I joined Chinta like I think uh, six, seven months ago only. But I think it played a really big part because I've been doing like Olympiads, but more of the objective types, like where you, we have like an MCQ and that and also even AMC and all this objective. So I don't have any experience with like subjective. And I also at that time I didn't really find theory that interesting. But through the like classes, there was like problem solving sessions, theory classes, etc. I was able to not only like get more practice with writing answers and subjective parts, but also develop more interest for theory. So I could go deeper into things myself, and that's when I started reading like theory books and all, so, like the books that everyone else mentioned. I hadn't read many of those till like this year, the last couple of months. But now I started reading that. So okay. I think the passion so, is my best. So you think any particular textbook is missing in our list that we were discussing? Oh, uh, I think. that pretty much like the list is pretty much covers it i think one that i used there was like a guide to mathematical olympiads for rmo and nmo that was like a general book i used which had all the concepts in brief and that had rmo past papers but yeah, oh so what was the uh, author is there some author's name or that I you think i think it mention? was ashwin saxena but i'm not i'm not really fully sure okay okay that's great i think the book for geometry as far as i can recommend will be the challenge and thrills in pre college mathematics which is a very good book and covers from basics to advanced to concepts for geometry as well as you have the euclidean euclidean geometry in math olympiads by ivan shen 